Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Cane Rock. Still in Jamaica, spiced rum. According to the label, 700 ml bottle, not the standard 750. Uh, rum with spices, natural flavors, and caramel color. So this is not its natural color. I do you like the turtle? The effect of uh, forward motion on the bottle, that's clever. All in all, it's a very nice and outstanding bottle on the shelf. It has a, a presence for it. Level across the top. That band, very nice. You can tell the cork is an entire cork, which is actually a big deal. Uh, for those who may not know, many years ago there was a, a blight on cork trees and it took out a lot of the cork and it made it too expensive. So we went to alternative reasons, alternative avenues. Nice cork. I do like the turtle there. So anyways, they went to alternative like plastic corks. Uh, pieces of cork all glued together. Things along that line. Any way to make it much more cheaper, much more feasible than the old style full cork because full cork was too expensive at that time. Apparently, those days have now passed. And here we go. The caramel coloring gives it a caramel hue. Well, a caramel color, but a yellow hue to it. Yes, a lot of yellow is involved. So, it looks nice. Spice rum is supposed to have, well, it's expected to have a, uh, a gold caramelly coloring to it, so it looks the part. I just noticed something. Yeah, it does. Huh. It's a dimple in the bottom of the bottle. Interesting. Usually you see that in wine. And the reason why is the sommelier would stick his thumb off the thing and give you a, a grip so you could do a fancy pour with one hand and not drop the bottle on whoever pretentious person you were pouring for. And it's interesting. Very interesting. All right, so back to the important part. Not the packaging, the product itself. So yes, it is a nice caramel color with heavy yellow hues in it. The nose is almost to the point of bubblegum type fruit in it. I don't want to say it's fake smelling, fake nose. It's a little too, a little too perfect for you to know that it's real. Now, I'm not saying it's not. It very well could be. I'm in the middle of nowhere, very far away from Jamaica. Landlocked in. Couldn't find a sea turtle unless it came out of, you know, off the internet. So they could be real fruits and whatnot that they claim briefly here on it with uh, natural flavors. Natural could mean anything. But the point is, it very well could be what you're smelling. But she is a little too perfect. There's a little bell to the balls, a little too... Too belly, too bally. <laughs> but it's 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 a nice nose nonetheless. It fades out. Give it another swirl here. There's a bit of uh, ethanol in in it as well. So <laughs> there's a bit of a, a, a hinty burn in the back of the back of the nose. Nothing too bad. If anything, you kind of expect it. it is 
40% alcohol by volume. So it's it's not a child. And you do get that. As for the spices, very little vanilla, no real cinnamon to it. But it's enough to temper down some of the fruit notes. So you're not drinking a fruit drink, as it were. But nothing really stands out, unlike the fruit end of it, which made you almost think that it was um, fake. It is very sweet. I liked it on my rums. I really do. Uh, some of my most all-time favorite rums are very, very sweet. As if they just dumped a, a thing of sugar right on top, right before they bottled it out. Lots of good fruit notes to it. A lot of uh, vanilla and some other light spices, but it kind of takes and tempers down the the abundance of fruit note but kind of competing with it is the ethanol side of it all it's got a burn that just starts and stays now not offensive it isn't you know, riling up it's not stabbing your tongue too badly it's very I shouldn't say very light it is light on the tongue when it comes to the burning and the stabbing of the alcohol. Easily enough to overlook. I thought about using ice, <coughs> excuse me, using ice to help temper down some of those, uh, the burning and biting notes that comes with this, but it didn't really help it that much. It, it kind of muddied it all together a little bit too much. And it didn't... It took away more than what I wanted it to versus taking the, the shavings off those edges. It took more off than what I cared for. So, I tried this again in a cocktail. A Dark and Stormy, as a matter of fact. And it played very well in... A dark and stormy. Now, my dark and stormy is just fairly plain. It's just simply ginger beer and a spiced rum. Uh, I know other dark and stormies is ginger beer, dark rum, and throw some other things on top to make your unique version. But mine's simple and plain: rum, whatever you want, whatever type, ginger beer, dark and stormy. It played well with the ginger beer. I was pleasantly surprised. So it makes you wonder <clears throat> when to drink this. Because it has a terribly long hang time. Once once this hits your palate, it doesn't want to go anywhere. It just stays. That uh, ethanol bitterness, burnt tire flavor, stays with it. The biting and the burning stays with it. It's just at a low level. And I said, just doesn't does want to go away. So it, it's good in a cocktail, but it's so wonderfully sweet with those fruit notes that come out. It makes you want to take it as a standalone. But it's very heavy bodied. So this, to me, is a cold weather type of uh, sipper. I would have to say, use it both in cocktails as well as a sipping rum, but choose a cool evening. I don't know how cold it gets in Jamaica. Must be nice if you're there. I've heard stories of wonderful Jamaican things. And this clearly out of Jamaica, so maybe a cold Jamaican night, which would be a 
you know, midsummer here in the middle of a heat wave. But yeah, it's, it, it would go well with a cool background, a cool backdrop sipping on it. Uh, Any time of year, obviously, for, for a cocktail. That is obvious. I would like to try it at other cocktails. I presume the end result would be the same. Uh, the flavors blend well with other ingredients. And it takes away that that long hang time. So, see what you guys think. It's It tends to be an all-around nice rum for cooler nights, cooler evenings. Hot nights, hot evenings, I think. This will be like sipping down, just, just too much body, too heavy on the palate. Definitely cool nights. Cool jazz, maybe. But that's a total different different measure and like I said it goes well with uh, cocktail so play the game as you will when it comes to whether it's a sipper or not I voted as a sipper but like the versatility of using it in, in my, my cocktails I say it is a cool evening so midsummer would not be its time uh, winter time up here in landlocked wherever would be the best for this only because it carries so much weight give it a try see what you think i could be way off i could be you are the best one to know your best taste and this may or may not float your boat there you are it's got a cute little turtle on it great bottling but all in all it's very versatile just heavy and you know see if i'm right see if i'm wrong give it a try any comments about this particular product write it down below be welcome as always or better yet go out buy it try it and let the rest of us on the youtube spirits community know your thoughts on cane rock distilled in jamaica uh spiced rum and let us the rest of us know whether you think it's worth the money worth the purchase like i said like i could be way off it's it's a complicated little rum that fits several shoes quite well but not all shoes so good marks good trying good sipping and until next time keep on drinking